Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the file system module in Node.js. And today, we are essentially going to talk about how to read the contents of a file using the read file and real file sync functions in uh, the file system module in Node.js. Now, with these two functions, uh, we are going to be able to read the contents of a file without having to having to open them and close them ourselves uh, so far in these uh, in this series of videos uh, we've shown how to open files and we've shown how to read the contents of that file uh, with uh, with some control over when you want to start reading or when in your buffer uh, you want to start putting data uh, and you know at what position for example so these functions will not give you these, these kinds of controls, but uh, uh, what they will do for you is they will automatically open the file, they will read the full contents of that file, and then they will close that file for you. So with these functions you don't have to be opening, you don't have to be closing, all you're going to be doing is just giving it a path. Uh, possibly giving it encoding and flag and then a callback uh, if it's the asynchronous version or uh, what you'll get as return is the data that was read by that function. Alright so uh, this is the file we're, we're going to try to read the flags.txt this is the contents of it and uh, let's go ahead and try and do that uh, synchronously using the read file sync function. All right, so what we're going to get is return value would be the data. Okay, that's going to be equal to fs that read file sync. Okay, uh, what you need is the uh, the path to the file, and uh, what you can provide are options. Okay, where, where you will specify the encoding and a flag. Okay, so let's not do that yet. Uh, let's just uh, close this right here and see what we get. So console.log data. Okay. So since you didn't provide any encoding uh, data, uh, what you're going to get is a binary buffer uh, with uh, the binary data. Just, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's encoded as a. Uh, hexadecimal but uh, uh, it's just a, a binary buffer that you know you can't really make sense of what's happening here as a human being but uh, what you can provide uh, the options you can provide will be uh, can be a string or it can be an object so as a string you can just say uh, utf8 for example and it will encode it as UTF-8 data and here you go you got uh, your file right here the contents of the file but you can also provide an object uh, where the encoding property of that object uh, can be UTF-8 okay All right, and again you get what you want but let's say you didn't provide any data you could have just said to string and what it will attempt to do is use UTF-8 as the encoding and give you the string. Again, uh, works as uh, expected. All right, so this is uh, how you would do it uh, synchronously. Now let's go ahead and try and do this asynchronously using the fs.readfile function. So let's go ahead and do that, fs.read file. Okay, what you need uh, is the uh, path to the file, uh, which is this right here. Uh, we know how the encoding stuff works, so we need to do that again. What you'll provide is a callback that will be taking an error, and uh, the data that was read by the function. And uh, you can uh, do whatever you want with uh, the data. Now, if there is an error, you want to always handle that. Okay, and uh, let's just print the message. Coming from that error. And then if there is uh, no error, uh, we have the data. Okay. All 
right? So again, what we're going to get here is just a buffer of uh, uh, binary data. But, you know, you can say to string here to get the actual uh, contents of the file. Well, this was the contents of the file, but encoded in a different way. And, uh, you get the raw data, but uh, here uh, you're getting the, uh, the strings here that is readable by human beings. All right, so this is the video, guys. So with these functions, we didn't have to open the file ourselves. We didn't have to close the file ourselves. The file is automatically opened and closed. Uh, you can uh, provide some uh, uh, encoding values. So I could have uh, gone in here and say, uh, I want this to be UTF-8. And then not having to call that to string function. And run this again, you get uh, what's expected. So what you need uh, to get these functions to work is the uh, path of the file, some options. Uh, the, these options are optional. And a callback uh, if you're using the uh, asynchronous version. And if you're using the synchronous version, uh, what will be returned is the data if there are no issues. Alright guys, so this is uh, Dooley again. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, like the videos if they are helping you. And I guess I'll see you next time.